Hi everyone, I do feel like I've got a reasonable setup now for my video. Hence the test video I did before this one. Just want to show you, this is what I did yesterday with these Multimark Faber-Castell pens that are non-permanent as I mentioned before. And there's a green, red, black and blue. The idea is to show that colour doesn't always matter because it'll read right if the values are correct now. There's a lot of values missing in this. This was just a muck around. I think the values in this are a little bit better, but I could go darker under here. But I just want to use some odd colours for faces. And um, I suppose for art journaling, it doesn't matter really what colour you do them. So I'd show you some paintings that I did a few years ago. This is 2014. And this is the one I did to prove that colour doesn't matter as long as values are correct. I'll just show you a little bit close up. Another one. This one's free, freer than this one. This is a little bit more rigid painting, but it's still another one that I did just to check values and things. I could go a bit darker under there, of course, but I enjoyed using unusual colours. It was a lot of fun. And this is one that I did also in the same year, 2014. This is my daughter with watercolour, all with watercolour. They're done with Windsor and Newton Cotman colours, I think most of them. I also have a little box of watercolours that I probably added to this. I can't remember the brand of that. I think it might be Dale Arani. So just to give you an idea of faces and that, they're different than what I do in my art journal, like this one here. That one's just a little bit more muck around, which you don't need to be super perfect for your art journal anyway, but it... So with this one, I might just have another fiddle with something like that. This is a visual diary. I think it's Montmartre, yes. Just a bit of fun one that I'm using. I have no idea what I'm going to do. And my hand is still a bit wonky and swollen, as you can see. It's very hot here in uh, town at the moment. So I, the problem thing is, is that I need to be a little bit quicker here. See, it might exactness is not right because the hand is still feeling its way in in, um, in space as I call it. It's called proprioception, something like that anyway, which means your body knows where it is in space and when I broke my arm, that sort of feeling disappeared. It was the strangest thing ever. I want to do this a little bit quickly because this these are non-permanent and I want to use the water on here. Um, let me just see. A bit weird, anyway. I'm not real good at uh, the outside of faces. Sometimes the chin. Who cares? Okay, and I've got a brush here that's I bought. Oh, probably about 15 years ago, and it's uh, was about 45 dollars. And I'm just going to try this as against, whoa, check that out, man, as against that one there, because I'm finding that even though it's full of water now, it doesn't always work coming out, and I have to squeeze it, and this hand isn't all that great at squeezing it or at gripping, as you can see. I can only get it that far. Well, that hand is like that. Let's just fiddle around here. It's not a brilliant face, but this gives you an idea of what you can do with some markers. I know there are special markers on sale that are specially for water, um, to be used with water, dedicated to but These aren't, I just saw them in the shop and I thought I'm going to, whoop, that nose is really bad. In fact, it's quite crooked. Not good. Doesn't matter. It's just a bit of fun. Now this is still just not going quite as I want because this is drying. So let's do a shadow under there. So what I can do now is just go over, there's a bit of a shadow always where the forehead comes in there. Whoa. 
So what I can do now is go over this with, um, oops, let's just do some green eyes, that would be fun. And that one's smaller than that one, so I might just bring that out a bit. Apparently you can rub out with this rubber thing on the top. It is a special rubber, I just don't know quite how to um, use it yet. Um, let's just have a look what's going on here. Oops. This is not meant to be a realistic face, but I always find it really hard to do something that's not realistic, like with a really long neck and sort of fan uh, fantasy faces. Um, so I'm sort of in the middle between realistic and not realistic, and I still find it hard to sometimes find my way in that. But isn't art all about fun? This is pretty wonky. So she would have probably a little bit of this under here. Uh, it would be much, much better if I didn't do this in a visual diary, but I was doing it in with proper watercolour paper. So really, it's, it was, it's just mainly, I'm just mucking around at the moment, just testing some of this sort of stuff. And just seeing how I go. It's very hot in this room. I'm dripping sweat. Still feeling my way with my shoulder trying to get into the water there. So I have to stretch myself a little bit just to get to there. So I'm still finding my way with my arm. So this gives you a little bit of it. Whoops. So let's just give that a little bit of a go there get her neck in there a little bit of shadow in there I could use a lot more if I had proper paints but these are brushes so I'm just really trying to use them and see what I can do with them as you can see the paper is buckling and that is because it is not watercolor paper so I will do something a little bit more proper next time and fiddle around. So when this is dry, what I can do is, is get my Posca pen. It's not dry properly, I don't think. So let's just see if I can. And then you can just go in because I like the eyes because this this is how my eyes work. They don't sit in the middle of my whatever that whole thing is called. Oh, I didn't do that. They sort of sit hanging from the top of my eyes. There's a special word for it in Dutch, but I won't mention it. Lundsogen. Teased mercilessly when I was a child. No wonder I've got wonky um, mental problems. No, I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. I think I'm going to make it worse than it already is, but it gives you... Oh, it was so bad. But anyway, it gives you an idea what you can do with these pens. And when it's dry, and I'm not going to go and get my hair dry and do all that. When it's dry, I can go over that and fix all that sort of thing. And I can make her look a lot better. And do her hair. And But see, this, is, this looks free to me. Well, when I start fiddling around with it to improve it, it might get worse. So that's just what something that you can do with these pens. As I say, they're, they're just um, special eraser pens too, they're called. And they're markers, non-permanent. If you want to get a special 
uh, pen that's made for watercolour and is water soluble you can do that but it's a bit of fun just testing out your own markers and fine liners and just see how they work and I'm going to have a sip of tea here's to us and thanks for watching bye